benefits. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you one of the best tanks you can use, Tigreal. I'm sure you experienced it already many times, that the whole team choose a hero except the last one and he simply says that he has no tank and choose a second marksman. Well, Tigreal would be the answer for all the players, since he is so easy to learn and very effective from the first match on. On the other hand, if you take some time to become better with him, you can reach the next level with him, being the worst nightmare for all heroes without CC removal. To shortcut your way to level 2, you should watch the whole video and leave a like and subscribe if this guide was helpful for you. Let's begin. First is his passive. Tigreal gets a layer of blessing for every skill he uses or for every basic attack that hits him. Once he has 4 layers, he will nullify the damage of the next basic attack. This effect triggers on turret damage as well, what is very useful when you tank the turret for your teammates. Next is his first skill. He smashes the ground and unleashes 3 shock waves, each dealing damage to the enemy and slowing them down. Let's continue with the second skill. He charges into the direction you are aiming and knocks back all enemies in the way. If you use that skill again, he knocks up the enemy. I really love this skill. It's so simple, but can be so effective. More to that later. Let's talk before about this ultimate. Tigra pulls all enemies to himself and stun them. With this skill you can stun the whole enemy team if you're good and basically win the gank for your team before it even started. That's all his skills. Let's talk about how to use them. First the combos you can use. The first one is 2 plus 2 plus ult plus 1. You push the enemies towards your allies and knock them up. Afterwards you use directly your ult and slow down the enemy with your first. If they are still alive of course. Ideally your allies finish them already by now. This is my favorite combo because once you engage and pushes the enemies where you want it, you stun them twice without moving them, but makes it easier for your allies to attack the enemy. On the downside it's less surprising than the next combo. Old plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. For that, you should use almost all the time the famous flicker trick. You use your ult and directly flicker to teleport to your enemies. Once you stun them, you push them into a good spot, where your teammates can finish them off. You should use that combo from a bush of course. A real man never hides in the bush. Yes, he does, because it's a smart thing to do. Your enemies will be more surprised by this combo than the first. But the downside is, when you push them, you could accidentally dodge the skill of your teammates for the enemy, what could result in a comeback for the enemy. So be careful where to push the enemy. These are the two best combos you can use in my opinion. But there is more to know about his skills than just combos. You can use the first phase of his skill to push enemies away and save your low teammates. After you've done this, run, so you're not giving your enemy a free kill. But don't use flicker to escape. This counts not only for Tigreal, but for all tanks. Flicker has such a long cooldown that in the most situations it's better to die than using it. Save it so you have it available when you want to do the next awesome engage and destroy the whole enemy team. For more general tips like this, check out my tank guide. It's a good complement for this guide I think. You could also use the second skill to room faster. You can use flicker in the combo with the second skill as well. That's very useful to push enemies out of the tower or into your towers. This is something you should aim for in general. Whenever possible, push your enemies towards your tower. They are most of the time doomed, if that is happening to them. To use your ultimate the most effective, you need the right timing. When the enemies are close together, it's a perfect time to use it. You shouldn't aim it only at the squishy ones. This skill is more about the number of enemies you can catch I believe. If you want to aim at the squishy enemies, use your second skill. Your first skill is very good to poke the enemy constantly. The damage is quite low of course, but over time, you deal some significant damage to the enemy. That in the end, can make the difference in between a dead enemy or one that escapes with 1 HP. And as a last tip, you should level up his second skill on level 1. You can use it to stun the enemy twice and give your core directly the upper hand over your enemy. Maybe you even manage to push them into your tower. Now you know how to play him. Let's continue with his spells, emblem and build. His spell is obvious. It should be flicker. Even when you're not a fan of the flicker old trick, using it together with a second skill is very simple but also very effective. You could maybe think of using petrify. But in my opinion, Flicker is the way better option. Again, it's obviously the tank emblem. 
but you could argue about the configuration of it. All talents are a viable option. I prefer Brave Smite as talent. You get some of your HP back that can make the difference in surviving and dying. As sub talents, I like Inspire for cooldown reduction and Vitality for more HP, but you could use any other talents as well. Share your emblem set in the comments. Now let's talk about his build. I will quickly explain you the items you should use and in the end show you the full build. For his boots, you have three options. Warrior boots, when your enemy deals more physical damage, tough boots, when more magical damage, and rapid boots for faster rotation. You can choose which one you like the most. Next is either the Courage Mask or the Shadow Mask. The Courage Mask gives you and your team a nice buff for a gank. And the Shadow Mask conceals you and your teammates, which is very nice for engaging into a gank. Again, choose your favorite. Next are the core items for Tigreal. Dominance Ice decreases the enemy's movement and attack speed, what is awesome for any gank. It also increases your physical defense, increases your mana and gives you a bit movement speed. Next is Antique Koras. It reduces the enemy's physical attack when they are attacking you. It gives you also HP, HP regeneration and more physical defense. Another great item for ganks. If your enemy deals a lot of magical damage, especially when they have a one-shot mage, you should use Athena's shield. It reduces the magical damage you take and gives you more HP, magic defense and some HP regeneration. Immortality is another great item. It gives you a second life and also more HP and physical defense. You could also use Oracle as additional magic defense item and to increase the shield and HP regeneration effect. Or Guardian Helmet for more HP and HP regeneration. These are my builds. To round up the guide, let's talk about his targets and counters. As mentioned before, with his second skill, you should target the squishy heroes and push them to a good place so your team can finish them easily. With your ult, you should aim at the whole enemy team. The best teammates are the ones who deal a lot of AoE damage. For example Odette, Farsa, Aurora or Badang. Tigreal is also a very good teammate for 1-1. While you stun the enemy, she can activate her ult so much easier. By the way, I made guides for both Badang and 1-1. Check them out if you also want to learn how to play them. He can be countered by all heroes who can interrupt his ultimate. For example Cho, Franco or Nana. So be careful with your ult around such heroes. Also, you will have difficulties with heroes who have CC removal. Or the ones who use Purify. They can easily escape your stuns. Around these heroes you have to play smart. Try for example to run towards them, but don't use your skills right away. Maybe they get so scared that they activate their CC removal before you even use them. Then they are an easy target for you. So what do you think about Tigreal? Do you agree with me that he's one of the best tanks? Share your opinion in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this guide, leave a like and subscribe for many more hero and also special guides. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.